फ्रेंड्स वाई आई एम स्टार्टिंग दिस सीरीज ऑन पर्सनल फाइनेंस ऑन योर चैनल सिंपली बिकॉज वन डेटा विच आई हैव रेड वेरी रिसेंटली हैज स्टंड मी दट द फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी इन इंडिया इज एक्सट्रीमली पुअर इट इज नॉट ओनली पुअर इन कंपेरिजन टू दैट ऑफ डेवलप्ड नेशन और डेवलप्ड इकोनॉमी बट इट इज पुअर देन द इमर्जिंग इकोनॉमी so uh, you will be surprised to know that uh, india has a little over 20% literacy rate means 75 to 80% people in india are not aware of the personal finance aspect and hence this particular series we are starting because your channel is an educational channel so in the process we impart you with a lot of inputs with regard to the education in finance and we expect your love and support for the channel and how you can give the love and support for the channel simply by liking the video subscribing the channel and hitting the notification bell for all notifications so that you remain updated for any kind of uploads that come in near future so let us discuss personal finance and before that let us have a look to the global data based on the survey done by standard and poors if you are watching this video and you are financially literate i would give a hearty congratulations to you but if you are not believe me after you complete all the upcoming videos under financial literacy and personal finance you will be proudly saying that i am a financial literate person let me first share you something which is the largest ever survey done by an organization the standard and poors rating services global financial literacy survey is the world's largest most comprehensive global measurement of financial literacy because it had covered sample size of 150000 people in 140 countries now what is the broader outcome 33% of adults worldwide are financially literate means one third of the population in the world is financially literate but what about uh, other population it's a major chunk of population which are not aware of the personal finance because they are financially illiterate now 57% of the adults in united states of america are financially literate compared to 33% of adults worldwide means usa is above the world average now worldwide one more data has come up with this survey is 35% of the men are financially literate while 30% of women are financially literate S&P Global Financial Literacy Survey has also given a very important data that there is a wide variation in financial literacy around the world. If you look at this bar chart, what it indicates is Canada seems to be the most literate nation, and another is United Kingdom. And majority of the country that finds on the major advanced economies. are from europe and if you see the yellow bars these are the data from the major emerging eco economy where you can see the india is at bottom the literacy rate in india is little over 20% while the most literate nation among the emerging nation is south africa so lot of things are to be done to impart education towards personal finance in india so we are taking a small attempt to educate the especially the youths in india so that they have enough time for their personal finance to be properly executed and looked at so friends what is personal finance i am not going to make it so complicated so that your financial goals are never achieved let us make it very simple so that it reaches to the common youth of india so that they can manage their money and finance very well so the personal finance in my opinion is very simple that is how to utilize the money with us 
so that our financial goals are achieved. As simple as that. So there will be process involved to move towards the financial goal. Am I right, friends? So one very important aspect to be kept in mind is that the life is full of uncertainties. So keeping this very aspect in mind, that life is full of uncertainties, first thing is to chalk out on a piece of paper, what are your financial goals? The financial goals could be for a youth who is starting a career is what? Children education, their marriage, then your own retirement needs. So if I put it, in a broader sense that the financial goals could be number one children education the second is buying movable property and immovable property like uh, in movable property you want to buy a car or you want to buy a motorbike whatever you want to buy and in immovable property you want to buy a house and finally when you retire and you stop earning then it should fulfill your financial needs and the basic needs, your health needs at the time of retirement and post retirement. Once you have chalked out all your financial goals on the piece of paper, next comes the planning to achieve these financial goals. Now let us never forget there are three possibilities in the life as I have just told you, life is full of uncertainties. The situation number one could be if I live too short, the second situation could be if I live too long and third situation could be the normal situation. If I complete my uh, life cycle, which is like a human life cycle in India. So these three possible situations in the life which might come, we might encounter, then we have to think how all those financial goals which I have written down on a piece of paper would be achieved. So we should plan in such a fashion that any kind of situation comes. We are prepared for ourselves and our family to achieve the financial goals. Financial goals should not suffer in any kind of situation. That should be the sole aim when we plan to use our money towards attaining financial goal. Now let us discuss briefly what happens if I live too short, the situation number one. However, we will be discussing personal finance in detail as we go uh, on this uh, personal finance series in upcoming uploads and upcoming videos. So if I live too short, what could be the possibility that I live too short? I meet an accident, it is not in my hand. Number two, I may have some kind of disease, it is not in my hand. So for example, I'm an engineer, I'm giving an example of an, uh, being an engineer because I'm an engineer. So uh, if I'm an engineer and I'm starting a career, my package is 20 lakhs rupees per annum. Uh, so, if I work for next 30 years, how much income I will generate? It is around 6 crores of rupees, which will be utilized for me, for my family and towards attaining financial goals. However, this amount could be more as I grow in my engineering profession, uh, my income will also grow with the time. I'm just giving you an idea. So if I, something goes wrong to me due to accident or due to disease, I lose this very income right immediately the moment that event takes place. What happens to my family? What happens to financial goals like education of the children, then um, retirement needs of my family, you know, buying a house or something, forget about the car or movable property. I'm talking about the needs of the family is in a complete disarray. I should plan in a fashion, in this kind of situation, I should plan in such a fashion that if something goes wrong to me and I live too short, my 
income which I would have generated is protected. So I need some kind of insurance product, which is the first of need in personal finance and most neglected area, especially in India, because of the poor awareness of the finance, personal finance. As we have discussed, the financial literacy is a little over 20% in India. So people are not aware. They always consider in India insurance product as to how much return I will get if I buy an insurance product. Insurance product is to be considered only to protect. We will discuss more about this in upcoming uploads. Now let us talk about the second situation where I live too long, 85 years, 90 years, 95 years. And you know what happens at that case. Number one, we need to in invest after we have bought an insurance product for an adequate protection of my income. I need to invest so that my investment gives a return that beats the inflation and will help me to achieve my financial goals. Secondly, if I live too long, I need to consider the requirement of my health needs, which will be required as we go older, we need more money uh, towards health needs. Today in India, world-class medical facilities are available, but they are too expensive. So we want to protect ourselves in such a fashion so that something goes wrong to me at old age and there is a requirement of hospitalization. What happens? I need a health insurance product to protect myself so that my money, which I have saved over the years, is not spent on such needs. So I need to have a health insurance program. So all these aspects will be discussed step by step in upcoming uploads. Now let us talk about the third situation, which is a quite normal situation that I live in accordance with the life expectancy in India, something around 70-75. So in that case, first is, of course, uh, protecting the family through an insurance product. And second is in the process towards our needs to buy a immovable property or to buy a movable property, uh, we might take loans that lo loans need to be well protected to additional insurance cover. And we should engage ourselves in investing in the right products that beats inflation and grows, which will be required for various financial goals in different uh, life stages, life cycle stages in our life. So that those goals are attained like children education and other, other things. And then comes to our retirement needs. We need a regular income to fulfill our personal needs and a health needs post retirement. So all these steps would be discussed step by step in this series, so that you know how to manage your insurance, how to manage your investment needs, and how to manage your retirement needs, and how to manage your health needs. So friends, in this introductory video on personal finance, you must have developed the broader concept. However, we will go deeper into the subject as we go ahead and come up with the uh, future uploads on your channel. Personal finance, if I summarize, is nothing but generating income, protecting income, spending, saving, investing, and it's a complete cycle so that our financial goals are attained, what we have planned for it. So friends, I believe that this video will give you a value addition. If so, like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for all notification so that you remain updated all the time. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.